Hey guys, Kaltorak here. With Phase 2 coming tomorrow, a lot of us are preparing to spam SM Graveyard at level 31. In order to help you guys out with that, I want to show you a few important things. Shout out to the homies Netherwind and Taewon from the Mage Discord for some of this information. With the nerfs to Living Flame healing, my current concern is how difficult the first half of SM Graveyard will be. There are a lot of humanoid elites here, and we won't be able to blizzard kite them. Since our healing is crippled, I do not know if we'll be able to face tank these guys without dying, so I will be using a safe spot to skip the first half of the instance. I do not know if you will need these items at level 31, especially if you are in here with world buff 20% move speed. To get to this location at 25 though, I'm using both swiftness pots and target dummies. Target dummies probably aren't needed. I would recommend swiftness potions, because losing BFD buff to a bad daze would really suck. Okay, I start the pull by casting mana shield. I'm always making sure I have mana shield up the entire time during this run. For those that don't know, you can't be dazed if you have shield buff up. You spam mana shield not only to help you survive the damage, but to prevent the daze. When I cut this corner here, I try and blink between the wall and the rack. Be careful not to accidentally blink into the rack, or you'll get stuck and die like this. I pop swiftness potion around this time, and always make sure I try and face the mobs to avoid the daze. I've been dropping my target dummy at the bottom of the stairs. This is to prevent the casters from getting up to the top and hitting me while I'm getting to my safe spot. Again, I do not think target dummies will be needed though, it's just a safety thing. You then just jump onto this ledge right here and wait for the mobs to reset. It may take a couple jumps, but keep trying to get up, it's pretty easy. This is obviously way harder at 25. At level 31 you'll have more HP, mana, and your Nobos won't be resisted when trying to get here. Next, for those who haven't seen the kite spot, you run over to this corner here. This is where we will be doing a majority of our killing for Graveyard. I was only successfully able to get to this corner once at level 25. I did have world buff when I did it, but I was able to jump up the ledge with 20% move speed. I assume we can still do it without world buff, but I have at least confirmed gnome hitboxes aren't struggling in this current build. With the damage increase to Living Flame being more consistent on stacked mobs, I have a feeling this blizzard kill phase is going to be super easy. That's it though. It's hard to prepare you guys more than that since we can't really test more at level 25. But hey, at least we have a good safe spot and good kite spot confirmed in the sod client. If you want to see me learn and practice this farm in real time, I'll be live streaming tomorrow for phase 2 launch. I'll be speed leveling to 40. My goal is to be top 25 40s on the realm. I don't know if that's possible. I have a feeling group play might be better than solo mage, at least for the later half of 35 through 40. But we'll see. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Best of luck leveling tomorrow, boys, and I'll see you at 40.